My name is Peace, I am from the UK and I'm traveling around the world to inspire you and take you with me on great adventures. As part of my new series about Israel where I am visiting right now, in this video you'll be joining me in a paradise like no other. A true National Geographic experience you most probably wouldn't believe exists in Israel. With that said, let's peace out and go! Welcome back, I am Peace, about to take you on a peaceful and magnificent journey as I visit a place like no other called Hula Lake, or rather should I say, a paradise of birds. Declared by the BBC Wildlife as one of the world's top 10 bird watching sites, Hula Lake is an absolute majestic bird haven you don't see very often. Well, putting aside foolish politics and media nonsense, many who have never been to Israel only relate to it as a place of conflict or even danger, which by the way is very far from reality, since Israel is one of the most advanced countries in the world and the greatest democracy in its region. But who would ever believe that it holds such a a treasurous wildlife oasis. Located in the Hula Valley in the upper north of Israel, just a two-hour drive from Tel Aviv, lays this place of extraordinary nature and beauty. During every migration season, in the spring and the fall, over 500 million birds and close to 400 different species of birds travel through this wetland paradise on their way to the African continent. Amongst them you can find cormorants, herons, pelicans, raptors, strokes and cranes, while on land and in the lake you can find many other fascinating mammals like the otter, the wild boar and jungle cats. On my trip to Hula Lake I have joined this special guided tour on the hidden tractor drone wagon at sunset, offering me a rare close-up and personal encounter with these beautiful creatures. Just being able to be that close to these magnificent birds and listen to their noisy chatter was truly a majestic experience. the day most of the birds fly away from the Hula Lake to forage for food in the vast fields in the area. But the real spectacular moments happen at sunset, when they all return to stay the night in the lake. Well, after the sun is setting down, tens of thousands of cranes start to flock together, making their way back to the lake where they will sleep the night in the water. The reason why they would spend the night in the water, as you can guess, is mainly to shield themselves from predators. Many of the birds who migrate all the way from Russia and stop by in Israel on the way to Africa stay in 
the Hula Lake for the entire winter season since the Israeli winter isn't that cold and then they will continue to the warm African land where they will stay through the summer. As you can see for yourself at the time I visited Hula Lake the only major bird species that were currently there were the cranes but I hope that you have enjoyed it as much as I did. Now I'm gonna leave you with the sound of nature to the end of this video and you better tell me if this wasn't absolutely majestic. As you can see it is getting darker now and right in front of me, quite close, is an Arab just having his dinner and I'm very very close to him, I mean in the wagon but speaking quietly you can see as he's scrambling on that bush and eating very fast and then he's going to go back to the war. Meanwhile the cranes are all coming back to make their night in the uh, lake. So this sums up this video and if you liked it please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button so you'll be notified for new upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Peace.